Welcome to Destroy All Humans 2. Yes, we're playing this together and it's going to be... Cooperative mode. It's going to be cooperative. It's going to be friendly. Friendship. It might get a little sexy. It will. It's it's all about the sex. Oh well, no, it's probably going to be a lot more violent. The tagline for the game is make war, not love. So I don't think we're going to be sexing anymore. Or we might be sexing each other. You're not touching my wiener. <laughs> We've been over this. You cannot touch it. Okay, we're gonna skip that. Yeah, I'm sure it's. I was trying to skip it, but I'm, I, only I can because I'm the one player. Well, shit. Ah, hey, where am I? It'll take a second. I, there's a, a way you have to set it up, I think. Pow! 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 So I just have to kill all the KGB guys. Well, this is... This is looking great. It is. We, we can play cooperative. You just have to... There's a way you have to set it up once you start playing. It, to me, I don't know. I, I kind of discussed this uh, in one of our episodes that we haven't uploaded yet. But, uh... Well, by the time this is up, it'll probably be uploaded. Yeah, but, uh... Fucking... That's Zim! They, a lot of people think like these type of graphics, like PS2, uh, Xbox graphics, are like dated. I don't know. I still think they look pretty fucking good. Oh yeah, I agree. Like I uh, think, ow, <laughs> you fucking hippie piece of shit. Like uh, MGS2, I think oh, still yeah. looks really good. But uh, I think I think Earthbound looks really good. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like. Who gives a shit how realistic it looks? Okay. I swear, if I'm not in here in like five minutes, Give I'm gonna a... touch your dick. <laughs> no, you aren't. <laughs> can't touch my dick. I'm, about. <laughs> I'm saving it for someone special. And I know. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> it's uh. No, 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 no. Well, she doesn't watch it, so I guess it's really matter. <laughs> But still, no. Ooh, plot. Orthropox. This game is actually a lot of fun. I played it, uh... I rented it back in the day, and I played it at a friend's house. Mm-hmm. Man. Oh, what the fuck? Why did I just blow up? <laughs> Your health is... <laughs> yeah, I'm very close to death. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Ark Voodle. Man. This is, this is actually bringing back a lot of memories yeah. for me, because, like, I remember when I thought this game was so fucking cool. Yeah, man, me too. I still think it is. Oh, I yeah. Thought it, I thought it was cool that you could, like, read people's minds and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, in this one, did you ever play the second one, or was it just the first one you played? I played both, like, okay. I rented both. Okay. Yeah, it was the same way. Yeah. Out of my way, you fuck. And it was, like, games like this and, uh, you know, like, GTA 3, like, really, uh... Um, impressed me just because oh, yeah. like all the NPCs and stuff. I remember I was like, I'm trying to think of how old I was when I first played GTA 3. It was probably, I don't know. It was probably what, what year did it come out? It was the year it came out. It was very shortly after it came out. Oh, I don't, I don't even remember. I, I think know. it might have been 2003. Was, no, because San Andreas came out in 04. I think it was closer to 2002, maybe 01. Yeah, because my my first memory, I played GTA 3 before Destroy All Humans. Yeah, me too. And <laughs> GTA 3 was one of the first games I actually played on. Yeah. On the PlayStation 2, right after, uh, I think I told you about this, how my dad went and sold our PlayStation and all of our other shit and fucking went and bought a PS2. And the only game he bought for us was ATV Off-Road Fury. <laughs> yeah. It was a fun game. You know, it, had a really cool, it had a pretty decent soundtrack and everything, but... Yeah, and I told you about this, but not on the show. But uh, the, the the first time I I played GTA Three, I had no idea what it was. I didn't even know about all the like the conspiracy around it, like all yeah. the controversy around the controversy. it, like like, like you're looking for. yeah, like like all like the oh it's making kids shoot up schools and stuff. I didn't even know yeah. anything about that. All I know is that my brother owned a copy, and I looked at it, and I'd never seen the game before because like all the yeah all the PlayStation Two games were were out. Well, we're we're out for everybody to see. Mm -hmm. So, I 
I was like, I've never seen this one. So I fucking, I, I picked it up, I put it in, I started playing it. I had no idea what I was doing. Like, I was just like walking down the street, hitting people with bats, and then I got killed in like five minutes. Oh damn! And I was, I was just like, this is weird. <laughs> I had no idea what I was doing in the game. Yeah, the first time I played it, uh, I guess you could call him my step uncle. I mean, step uncle. Yeah, it's whatever. His brother brought it over to uh, to our house to show it to my dad, and um, uh, I was playing it, and there's no one in the house. There's like no one else in the house. They went outside, and I started playing it. And you would think that that would turn out bad. Like, I would see things like a, like that a six-year-old just shouldn't see. Yeah. But all I did was stand on top of cars <laughs> while they drove. I, that's what amazed me so much about the game, is that I could stand on a car yeah. while it drove around. I've played plenty of games where you can drive around. i played Twisted Metal a lot before that. <laughs> I didn't bring any with me. I love this, like... <laughs> I forget. I forgot that you have to do a little decision making. What if, like, somehow, like, with your little kid, you figured out a way to unlock the hot coffee? Oh my god! <laughs> like, no. I mean, that would. It's like, what are they? Are they wrestling? What? Is that? It doesn't look like. Looks that. like what mommy and daddy do. <laughs> no, no. It doesn't look like that though, because they're like, they're wearing clothes and it's yeah. like nothing. I don't understand the controversy behind that. It just seems like yeah. a silly joke to me. Yeah, it was. It, you're not supposed to be able to unlock it without like. Like hacking the game or something, something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's that's what but, it is. Uh, and yeah. all the copies of the game got pulled. I remember that being on the news. Like every morning, I'd wake up to the school, and that's what they were talking about. Yeah, just bullshit. I'm really sad. I I never actually owned this game. I'm kind of regretting that now. Oh, destroy all humans. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get flying, yeah, man, this uh, game is a I lot of fun. I, the, the most recent one I played, I never played Path of the Fear on, which I guess is the, actually the most recent game, and I, I hear that it was awful. Like, it didn't even get a, an American release on the PS3. I no, it released it internationally on the PS3. Oh Otherwise, it was on the Xbox 360, but uh, there was one on the Wii that was kind of no, meh. No, no. Kind of meh. Meh, yeah. Meh, meh. This one is probably, probably the best one. It's my favorite one. Oh yeah, I remember uh, I was I was looking at because I, I never knew about I I never knew that they made one past the second one. Yeah. So. Yeah, there was a. Uh... Shit. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Sound like you're about to vomit. So I'm a little gassy. I'm a little gassy. I'm still not in the game. It's been five minutes. I'm working on that, David. It's I am doing, so close to your junk right now. Doing the tutorial. <laughs> fucking. Well, don't you think I need the tutorial? I need to figure out what to do too. You can't just throw me in you. like I'm fucking. I'll teach you. Ah oh, man. Look at this guy. He's just like fucking floating around. <laughs> this is also one of the, one of the other memories. This this game's bringing back to me is uh, when demos were a thing. Oh really? I have like demos for everything. Did yeah. you ever play a demo for this? No, I, I've played demos for, uh, well, remember those, uh, PlayStation demos that yeah. came out with all the different games on it? I, I used to play the shit out of those. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and, uh, I had the, the, well, really, I only had two, but the only one I ever remember is the one that had, uh, Metal Gear and Ape Escape on it. Yeah, I had, I had only two as well, but, uh, it, um, mine had, like, a Tony Hawk game, um, what else? it had, like, a... Uh, Winnie the Pooh game. Oh yeah, with Tigger. That one was actually pretty fun. I think I. You know what? I think I had that one too. Really? It sounds familiar now that you say that. Yeah. So it was just like a simple platformer. It looked like yeah. It looked like it ran on the fucking Sega Genesis. <laughs> That's how bad it looked. But I mean, whatever. Sega Genesis is kind of beautiful, though. So yeah. You fuck. But I mean, like on the PlayStation. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you, yeah. Would, <laughs> you would expect a little bit more. But, um. Yeah, I used to just play the shit out of those, and then um, there was also after I had played NBA Street Volume Two for like so many hours. Um, I remember my brother getting the uh, demo for Volume Three, and I didn't like it as much. Oh yeah, I thought it, I thought it looked too realistic. Oh yeah, because the game's supposed to be centered around being like cartoony mm -hmm. and like you know like 
Yeah, but I mean, you like say a fantasy that, basketball game. And then they had Mario in the game. Yeah, but the the way it was presented on the demo made it look like it was just another like oh, okay. NBA yeah. game yeah. being thrown at you. With a with a new, uh, you're basically outside instead of being inside. Yeah. So next time. Yeah, next time on the Friendship Express, I really hope David will be playing. Otherwise, I will touch his dick. You're not touching my dick.